it shouldn't be. The black man should have his say, should have his words always and always and always. But why are they offended? Why are you offended when we say the original inhabitants of a country or a particular people? Would Americans get offended when somebody said, when I said that the original inhabitants of America were the Red Indians? When I say that the original people of America were Red Indians, would, would they get angry? Facts are facts, man. What is Egyptology? They say, well, it's the study of Egypt. Well, no, it's not the study of Egypt. Egyptology was created in order to make sure that there was a screening mechanism in place to explain away the truth that was being excavated every year that kept giving them proof of who the ancient Kemites were. I hope you're doing good. Have you ever asked yourself, who are the real Egyptians? So we will be discussing the history and the ancestry of the Egyptian people to understand the complexity of these issues. We will also touch on how comedian Kevin Hart comments about the real Egyptians being black people caused offense and hurt among the Egyptian people. We are going to see if truly these people were hurt by false statement or they were hurt by the truth. So before we delve deep into the video, it is important that we understand where Egypt is. Egypt is located in the north of Africa. It is a country with a rich and diverse history. It is home to one of the oldest civilizations in the world which thrived along the river Nile over 5,000 years ago. That's a very long time. The ancient Egyptians were a complex civilization with a diverse mix of ethnicities, cultures and traditions. The keywords here guys are diverse mix of ethnicities, cultures and traditions. Guys, I did an extensive research. It took me three days to do this research to bring it. Like, Egypt does not have one particular culture. It is diverse. Here's a picture of Ramses, which the uh, Eurocentrists want to claim is evidence that Ramses was a white man because this is uh, supposedly his mummy. And uh, as you can see, he has uh, reddish hair. So the implication is that if a mummy has red hair, then ergo that mummy must be that of a white man. That is why in the picture on the left, you have a picture of a black man um, to show that uh, who, who also has white hair. And black men, as they get older, oftentimes the texture of their hair is, and I can show you thousands of pictures like that, more like this, even if it was more kinky prior to that. In terms of ancestry, it is difficult to determine the ethnicities of ancient Egyptians as they were a melting pot of different cultures and ethnicities. Some scholars believe that they were more closely related to the people from the Near East, while others argue that Egypt, ancient Egyptians were black Africans. I believe these ones. However, DNA analysis and archaeological evidence show that the ancient Egyptians were a diverse group of people with a mix of ancestral backgrounds, including Sub-Saharan African, Near Eastern and Mediterranean. Egypt history is also heavily influenced by Arab culture, which has had a significant impact on the, on the country's customs, traditions and language. Arab culture has become prominent in Egypt of the, after the Arab conquest of Egypt in the 7th century AD. Arab conquest of Egypt. So who were there before the Arab conquered Egypt? There must have been people living there. Who are these people? These people were black Africans because Egypt is in Africa. Now let's talk about Kevin Hart's comments. Yes guys, much has been said and now it's time that we examine the comment that was given by the actor Kevin Hart, one of our very own. Let's see. Kevin Hart visited Egypt and made a comment during an interview where he said that the real Egyptians were black people. This must have really offended the Egyptians. But why are they offended? Why are you offended when we say the original inhabitants of a country or a particular people? Would Americans get offended when somebody said, when I said that 
the original inhabitants of America were the Red Indians. When I say that the original people of America were Red Indians, would, would they get angry? Facts are facts, man. Does not matter what you think of others as minority or, or superior. Facts are facts. Kevin Hart gave a fact. This comment sparked controversy and offense among many Egyptians who felt that it ignored their rich and diverse history. Nobody was denying their rich and diverse history. You we were just giving our comments. Kevin Hart was just saying the truth for what it is. Guys, the truth should never be quoted. This our fellow guy told the truth and now he's being punished for the truth. Stand for the truth even if you're even if you're alone. Always stand for your truth. Egyptians were hurt by Hart's comments because they felt that he reduced their identity to just one aspect of their ancestry. They felt that his comments ignored that Egypt has always been a melting pot of different cultures and ethnicities. Many Egyptians also, also felt that his comments were dismissive of the Arab influence on Egyptian culture, which had a significant part of their history for centuries. I think the Egyptians are just covering up for this. What if we said that the Egyptian, that Egypt, the, the original Egyptians were white people? Would they give such comments? Would they de try to defend? Would they give this nonsense they're giving around? No, they wouldn't do that because they perceive Africans as inferior. They see us as people who are so low. They are forgetting that civilization started with us. Civilization started in Egypt. The first form of writing was the hieroglyphics, which was done during the Egyptian civilization. The civilization in Egypt is what was transferred to Mesopotamia. Guys, Mesopotamian's Kunei form of writing is a form of writing that was developed after hieroglyphics was developed. Who built the, who built the pyramids? The Nubians of South Sudan, they built the pyramids. So I don't find any justice with these people saying all these things they're saying. They're just moving around in circles. It shouldn't be. The black man should have his say, should have his words always and always and always. Egyptians also felt that his comments were dismissive of the Arab influence on Egyptian culture, which has been a significant part of their history for centuries. Furthermore, Hart's comments perpetuated the idea that black people are the only real Egyptians. <laughs> These people don't want to accept the truth for what it is. We are the real, real, real Egyptians. Scientifically proven. It is not only inaccurate but also divisive. According to the, the Egyptians think that what Kevin Hart said is not only inaccurate but it is divisive. Come on, who is as divisive as the Arabs? Who is? Look at what happened in Tunisia. Look at what happened to that, to the black people there. It's still the Arab people. Look at what happens to Africans when they go to the Middle East. Arab people mistreat us a lot. Are they not being dis divisive? Why is it that when we say what it is for the truth, they say that we're divisive? They themselves are the people who are divisive, not us. I'm going to conclude, I'm going to be subjective. My subjection, my subjectiveness comes from scientific evidence I have seen and I have gathered. And I have gathered. Guys, it's time we say the truth for what it is. Anywhere you are, always stand with the truth, even if you are remaining alone. Kevin Hart was right in saying what he said. Egypt, of course, is a multicultural and multi-ethnic country. And the real people were the black people. They like it or they don't like it. Thank you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Help my partner get to a thousand subscribers. She really helps me get these videos out for you guys. So I'll leave the link in the description to her channel. Please subscribe, be kind. Subscribe to her channel. Let's get her to a thousand subscribers. Thank you. Till next time.